All right, I think we are in business. Uh, I thought we were in the North Hall, but that was Central. And now we're in the North Hall. This is another area. Wow, that thing is, is ooh, <laughs> it's loud. Uh, this is the North Hall. This is another area. I think there's like North, Central, and uh, South, and West. Like four different areas. And here we have different things. We have like some audio stuff over there. Uh, we have, I think this is the accessories, um, accessories area. So we're going to be walking around here, uh, checking things out. Yeah, this area has a lot of sound systems and there's like demos that are just shaking the entire building. <laughs> oh my goodness. You could probably tell maybe from the background noise and stuff, but uh, I'm going to try to filter it out. But um, yeah, they got some really nice sound systems going on over here. Check out this Cybertruck. It has a pretty cool wrap. Interesting. Oh, they even have an LCD on the back. Interesting. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Check out these um, LCD screens. Pretty cool. Look at that. For Tacomas, 370Z, GTR, Dodge Ram, G37. Some Jeeps. That's yeah, pretty cool. That's really cool that they're. Uh, starting to add these LCDs options all right so I'm here with Vicky from Vito man and we're gonna be checking out this um, what is this flash speed 1500 yeah and it is uh, 1548 watt hour size mm -hmm. and this one uh, is the flash speed once 1500 products and it's the portable power station and this one is actual battery uh how many batteries can you add on is it just one? Uh, they can add on but so it's a total of uh, three thousand uh, yeah total is three nice nice and so it says jumper cable can you can you yeah. like jump a car with that yeah sure oh wow well, yeah we have the uh, jump cable uh jump starter right here uh that's mean like um your car is if the out, battery dies yeah, yes battery dies, you can also use the products nice 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 
And so I noticed there's also a 12 volt uh, DC yeah. for output. And then you have a bunch of USB. Oh, there's even a quick charge, so you could charge phones and devices quick. Yes. Uh, do you know how much, oh, 1500 watt maximum uh, capacity. So that's really nice. Yes. Now, what are these uh, things up here on top? Is this for storage? Uh, it's the small, uh, small box. To put maybe cables yeah. and stuff? Ah, nice, 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 nice. And so this will also charge uh, through solar panels, it looks like. Where does it plug in? Is it behind that um and that solar, black uh, no, we cover? Can plug in, right. It's uh, probably behind this. Yes. Ah, you nice. Have the, and the sun and the DC, you can choose each one you need. Okay, okay. And it looks like these are LFP batteries, so that's good. Okay, well, thank you, Vicky. You're welcome. And according to that display over there, some of them uh, can be recharged with solar panels. All right, y'all, I'm here with Kat from Beta Tools, and you gotta check out this uh, little cart that they got going. It's really awesome. So the drawers slide out in either direction, so no matter, no matter where you are on the shop floor, you have access to your tools. It's fully collapsible. Lock it up and transport it easily in your truck, wherever you need to go. You guys gotta check this out. This thing is like, it just folds out and makes it real portable and you got all sorts of tools in there you guys also make the tools as well huh yes. nice nice very nice check out beta tools check that out All right, I am here at A to C, and I have Maria and I have Peter, and this is the first time I've ever seen this product. And what they have, you guys make uh, phone mounts, device mounts yes. for vehicles. Yes. But check this out. So I asked them about uh, the Tesla products, and this is what they showed me. Um, so, so this display kind of simulates what the vents are uh, on the Tesla, and as you can see, it clips onto the vents of the Tesla because you know we don't have the regular vents and um, so this is one of their products here and now also they have this product right here that uh, pretty much just latches onto the corner of the screen of your LCD very nice now these are magnetic the yes. um, okay and, and they're compatible with both iPhone and Android uh, yes if you have the um, MagSafe here if you have this then you can stick on Yes, okay. Very nice. Ah, yeah, this is neat. This is, ne I've never seen this design before. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> new product. Ah, yes, yes. So, check out A2C and I'll get that information for you guys on the screen. Thank you, Maria. I found another nice accessory. This is a 12 volt adapter with both USB C and lightning and you know my kids and i have two different phones one with lightning and one with usb-c but this is two in one and maria tells me that it, it can do 30 watts so you could charge two devices at the same time isn't that great all right y'all i got chat here with pura and what they got over here are some smart diffusers and i was actually curious and i asked them why are they smart so chad please tell us about these products yeah, I'd be happy to tell you about this. This is our new Car Pro, and what makes it Pro is it uh, has a rechargeable battery in here. It lasts about two weeks, so after that you can charge it by your car's USB port, USB-C port, um, or uh, in your home. It's great because you can control the scent intensity. You can also connect it to our app and control it through there. It will also send you push notifications to let you know when your fragrance is getting low. Uh, or when you need to replace that. It also has an accelerometer built into it. So when your car starts moving, it'll automatically turn on. When your car stops, it turns it off. So you're not wasting the fragrance. 
And then we've partnered with a whole bunch of the most popular fragrances in the world, uh, candle brands, cologne and perfume brands, and translated their most popular scents into our Pura format. Then we also have our original car that requires to be plugged in for power. Uh, this one is $34.99, takes the same formatted fragrance discs. Uh, and is also smart, has all the features of our new Car Pro, but this one, Car Pro is fully wireless, and our new one retails for $64.99. And so the USB powered one is also uh, for the home. Um, you could, yes, yes, you can do that. Yes, you could. This is both of these are for, fully portable, so you can take it to your work, you can use it in your house, uh, you can take it uh, anywhere you want to. So that's the great thing about it is anywhere you can find power for this one, and this one is fully rechargeable, uh, you can use it anywhere, but it is designed for the car, but you can take it anywhere with you. And it looks like the app is compatible with both Android and Apple. And uh, yeah, thank you very much, Chad. Awesome, thank you for the time. I'm here at the WDG Wode Global booth with Albert, and we are looking at the WG PLW29. And the reason why this caught my attention is I was talking with Albert and I asked him, hey Albert, uh, can this hold an e-bike four inch tires wide and about 80 pounds? And he said, yes. Yes, Right. <laughs> and uh, our this e-bike, and firstly, it's for 5 inch the tire width, the bike. Meanwhile, it can support the two e-bikes. And uh, each bike capacity is 80 pounds per bike. So you can hold up to two e-bikes, 80 pounds each, with a maximum width of 5 inch tires. Yes. Correct. Wonderful. And it even has lights. I also asked him if this is compatible with a Rivian, and he said yes. Yes, and it, as long as the rear is with a two inch, the two inch hitch receiver. receiver. Yes. Yes. yes, yes, they they do come with two inch. Wow, wonderful! Thank you, Albert. Thank you. So they also have a roof rack for kayaks and skis. So check that out. We're gonna get some more information, and uh, I will share that below in the video description. I'm checking out this uh, company called Chin, Chin Niu, and they have refrigeration products. And this one right here is a portable like air conditioner. And uh, if you stand in front of it, it is pretty cold. Now, this one is what caught my attention. This is a refrigerator that can be plugged uh, at the 110 outlet and also a 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter. And I was told that this has dual zone, dual, dual zone, one for fridge, one for freezer, or both for freezer or both for fridge. Really cool. Let's go open it up. Give me a card. Oh, very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. So you can have different usage, fr refrigerator or freezer. What is the lowest temperature that this Minus thing? Minus four. Uh, degree of Fahrenheit or Celsius? Yeah, Fahrenheit. Negative four degrees Fahrenheit is the uh, coldest setting. And there is an LCD display over here. True. Uh, that's where the dual control is, the dual climate, or dual temperature. <laughs> now, this has an air, uh, this does have a compressor to keep it cold. Very nice. And you know what, this, this is not that heavy and it has wheels. So they also have this item right here for the Model Y. It fits in the sub-compartment perfectly. Now, does this also refrigerator and freezer or just refrigerator? Uh, refrigerator and the freezer, it's two temperature. Oh, it's also dual, dual temperature. Two. Is there two compartments inside? Yeah. 
Oh, check that out, guys. You could have two different temperatures there. Very nice. I am in the US Shield booth. They have a Model X on display. And what caught my attention is not just because it's a Model X, but the product Skinex. It is the exterior windshield protection film. It's like PPF for your windshield. And you know that Model Xs just have giant windshields. And this thing goes on the outside of your window. It is made out of TPU and has some heat rejection. It's sort of like tint, but not as good with heat rejection as tint, but it should prevent things from like rock chips and just debris flying to your windshield and cracking it and hitting you up for that comprehensive deductible. And you know with Tesla Insurance, they raise that bad boy. If you're in California, I used to have a $100 deductible for a comprehensive. They raised it to 500 bucks. Yeah, that's something. And yeah, Model X windshield, oh my goodness, that thing is huge. So uh, I'm just bringing it to you, sharing with you what they got. You shield, check them out. Um, I haven't tried the product, but I am going to probably look into it if we're going to be keeping the Model X. So interesting. I've heard about this product. Uh, some, I think one of you guys actually uh, sent me a message about it, so now I'm seeing it in person. Very cool. This product is pretty interesting. It's called Autoface, and it looks like it's a, a wrap where you can print and have different designs. There is a Subaru here with it, and it looks pretty cool. You know, what caught my eye with this car, let me uh, come around here. I'm gonna show you what's inside is really cool is uh, it has a sword as a shifter oh it's all glaring I'm gonna I'm gonna swing around to the other side but check out the side the design of this is really nice but yeah let me swing on the other side and check out the engine bay on this it, yeah, it, I I like it I really like it it's very nice We're gonna swing around this way and we're gonna go and check out that sword shifter. It's really cool, look at this. He has like a katana there, dude, as a shifter. That is awesome. Nicely done, nicely done. Man, got a NOS tank there and some, what is those, 12s, subs? Man, very nice. All right, we are here in the Chen Fan booth and they have a lot of outdoor products. And what caught my eye is I always look for stuff for the Rivian, for the Cybertruck, for all the accessories for outdoors. I'm with Shu Yi and she's been talking to me about these many different size. Uh, what are these called? Uh, just coolers or refrigerator? Car portable? Re car refrigerator. Car refrigerator. Yes. And all of these have dual, uh, dual, dual zone. zone. Yes temperatures yes as you can see look at this one this one it's you could put a lot of stuff in there you could put wine bottles because you could put two liter in there and I know you could fit a wine bottle in there so these are all dual zone except for the one on this side so if you just want one zone this one down here is a single zone but it's still pretty spacious you could fit all the fruit down over there now what is this this is one, that just like a, a compartment it's or just a uh, com compression inside oh okay so it's just it's part of the the refrigerator yes oh okay now does that cover that that can we remove like that the cover can be removed like that or is there like a hinge you, you mean oh okay so it, it can hinge two side oh two side. look at that y'all that's a nice design that's a really cool design now they both can be plugged uh, onto a regular outlet as well as a 12 volt cigarette lighter. And on this side, we're gonna be looking at some uh, bike hitches. Check this out, some bike rack on a hitch. Um, so she tells me that these can uh, accommodate for e-bikes as well, up to 4.8 uh, inches in tire width 
And can the weight capacity is how many kilograms? 30 kilograms. 30 kilograms, so about 60, 66 pounds. Now, my e-bike is around 80 pounds, but she said, you should be uh, carrying it without the battery. And I'm like, you're right. <laughs> That's a good idea. Uh, we also have a rooftop tent right over here, and it fits two people. Check this out. Very nice. I like it. And they have many different rooftop accessories that you could put on the crossbars. Right over here, we got like a like a storage, and we got for uh, shades. Many different options that you can uh, try out and have into your vehicle for your outdoor needs, and they have all these here as well. They got cargo boxes. Very nice, very nice. So check them out. It's uh, Chen Fan. All right, I'm here with IB with Tesloid, and I ran into them because they have a Model Y with this tent uh, in the back of it. We're gonna be checking things out that they are uh, provide, or showing off here in the show. So the, the first thing that we're looking at here is this tent. So this tent is custom designed for Model Y. Uh, it fits, uh, the Model Y has a very unique shape, so it's custom tailored to fit on uh, the rear end of Model Y so that all of the gaps are concealed. So you have, you can sleep in your Y and then you have rest of the tent available to do whatever you need. Uh, you can put chairs, you can put additional mattress, say you have kids, kids can sl sleep in, in the Y and then parents can maybe sleep in the tent or vice versa. It you know, gives you a lot of options. What what I notice is cool about this design is you can, you can like, close close these up and still use the HVAC system exactly just so, in case it's cold or, or hot so a lot of people may not know is Tesla has a camp mode yes so if the car's plugged in you can use the camp mode it doesn't drain the battery as much and you can run air conditioning heating um, in, in your car and and the tent by extension also gets uh, the same and effect. this is a huge tent you could probably fit like four people <laughs> yeah yeah and you can stand all this it's a tall tent if you can oh yeah it is inside. how tall are you i am almost six feet and there you go like a lot of oh yeah, yeah <laughs> look at that just, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a tall tent right in the middle so tall people have no problems which is good so you have to move stuff in and out to even maneuver you can hang out inside uh, now is the this um air mattress also your product uh yes it is this is tesloid air mattress it's one of the most affordable mattress for model y uh, as a bundle, you can get both of them. There's a bundle, nice, okay. And then I, I noticed there's a seat cover. Can we go check that yeah. out? So here we have is Napa leather seat cover. It's real leather uh, and soft to touch, soft to sit on, and it's custom fitted. So you, that's the original seat and this is the seat cover. Uh, some people cannot even tell the difference between the two, they think, uh, this is the actual like seat. stock. Stock yeah. seat. Yeah. Uh, and this is one of the most unique colors. Uh, tan is not an OEM color. No one uh, has tan. We are, Tesloid is one of the only ones with tan seat covers out there. Do they come in any other colors? We have other colors, the standard, like we have white. We also have a very nice uh, suede and black, uh, which is very unique as well. So the, the middle part is suede and the Outsides are jet black. Uh, that's a very unique seat, and um, uh, and, and yeah. Uh, How does it affect um, the vent, or not the ventilated, but the heated seats? It works great. The heated seats, no problem. But um, Highland, uh, the new Model Three, has uh, vented seats. So for that, we have a new product coming out that works with vented seats as well. So you also have one compatible for Model Three Highland. It's, so we have right now that works with uh, the, the heated seats, but the vented seats is in development. It's going to come out in a couple months. You'll see it on our site. So here we have the cooler bag. Either you could like separate them. Oh, you could connect them. Connect them, and then you can carry both of them out. Uh, they, ha they have handles on the side. And this side is the insulated side. It's waterproof side. So you could have drinks. Here on display, we have fake ice, but you can put uh, <laughs> right, right. real ice. And then on the other side is just the dry side. So you could have like chips, plates, other things you may need for uh, for uh, picnic or camping. 
whatever you need. So this, all the food can be in the front and you have all the space in the back for everything else. All right, well, check out Tesloid uh, for their products. Thank you, Ivy. All right, we are here at the Happy King booth. Check this out. They got many different style of tents right here, and they have awnings attached to these tents. Check that out. And they have lights on these awning. Now, these lights are powered through with a USB adapter and a battery right up there. And this also has like a place to shower. Check that out. Very nice, very cool design. This one is uh, another tent of theirs. And he was showing me that there is a light inside as well. USB adapter with a, it looks like an 1800 uh, watt uh, battery source or power source. But it is USB, so if you can find an adapter, you could just plug it in directly in the rear of your Rivian. Um, or you can get an adapter for a 12 volt USB to 12 volt for your Tesla. Unless you have a Cybertruck, you have a regular outlet. But check it out, it's a pretty nice design. Um, I wonder if the bed is soft. Let me see. Uh, yeah, it's pretty soft. Not bad. Now the lights uh, have different colors it isn't rgb at least i don't think it is but it's like soft white to uh was it daylight um and they have awnings right above us very nice very nice now he also has another product actually a different company um called pi and this thing right here is an electric grill that uh you can plug in or it is battery powered as well the battery is down there and you can do your grilling this also can be attached to a hitch uh, in the rear of your vehicle I wonder if he has the hitch here I can't find the hitch but I did see a video earlier where uh, there is an attachment for a hitch so you can do your cooking they were saying you could cook and you can go shower right there after you cook, and then you can sleep. This is my guy right here, man. He's showing his pictures off right here in his uh, Ford four-wheel drive, right? Four-wheel drive Ford. Yes. <laughs> so this guy is from Happy King. What's your name? My name is Mr. Hu. Who right. are you, Mr. Hu? <laughs> <laughs> this guy cracks me nice up. Nice meeting you. Happy. All right. And this I'm guy? Mako. Mako from yeah. Pi. Yeah, You're yeah, Pi. Pi. So. Yes. Happy King with the tents and awning. Yeah. And we got uh, from Pi with the electric grill. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much, Thank gentlemen. You. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. All right. We are done with day one. Man, it's been a lot of fun lately meeting new people, talking to different companies. Hopefully, uh, we can uh, get some relationships built and um, get some products on the channel to share with you all. And I also got to meet. Uh, existing partnerships I got to meet them in person so uh, yeah stay tuned for the following day thank you for watching if you like the video please like if you haven't subscribed please subscribe I've only been to two buildings so there's two two more buildings we need to go check out so thank you